stolen by Pippen. That's a flagrant foul, too. That's going to be two possess, two shots in the ball. Pippen and Starks is, hurt the ball. It's going to be a technical on Starks if he's not careful. Pippen is down. Well, this could be a major, major swing. Scotty Pippen looks like he is hurt. And then Starks kicks the ball, so it's going to be two shots and the ball. Now, we have to remember, Scotty Pippen had major back surgery. He is very still on his face there. Let's hope that Scotty Pippen is not seriously hurt here. Watch Starks. Boom. And look at him pull Scotty down. That's a serious play there. And then Starks kicks the ball. You see the pressure defense by Chicago again bothering the New York Knicks. Pippen picks it up and now he's fearless going to the basket. The hard foul. And if you keep it rolling forward, Starks now picks the ball up and kicks it into the stands. Very fortunate he did not get a technical there. 1.9 seconds remaining in the quarter. It's tied at 68. Pippen is up and moving and appears to be okay. Technical foul. DJ Armstrong, they did call a technical on start, probably for the action of the ball, and Armstrong will shoot it. Now this could be a five-point swing. Instead of New York getting the last shot. Alrighty, the next one, he's in the locker room early. I don't think today. <laughs> don't think, you think they may really remember that, right? Oh, Armstrong and Starks got to go at each other. P.J. Armstrong pointing in the direction of John Starks. That's number five on Starks. Now, here's how this developed. Let's take a look. B.J. trying to take away the path under the basket, so Starks changes direction and throws B.J. down to the floor. You know what? Everybody wants to pick on B.J. He looks like he's 12 years old out there in the floor. Michael really talking to the young John Starks. You saw what that did. There's a steal. Jordan has ignited the crowd. He started that by talking to the young John Starks and causing him to lose his concentration. We've seen it before. Cartwright has got to have confidence that if Patrick Ewing beats him, he's going to give help. He's got to chase him off that quick jump shot. Starks punched it away, and you saw Michael with the conversation. Look at Starks right back at him. The one thing when you play against Michael Jordan, you not only have to stand up to him physically, you have to stand up to him mentally because he will torment you with his play. Just like that. In your face. See, he looks for an edge. He looks for something to get him in this kind of frame of mind. He wants Starks to come back at him. Jordan and Starks chatting with each other. Now the reason That's a great scene just off to the right there. Now the reason he's like that is because Michael loves on a missed free throw to come blowing down the lane to dunk it. So Starks is face guarding him so Michael can't come in. And now Pippen's going to come over like he's going to screen him. This is his last two jumpers. Here comes Starks against Jordan. Well, that's confidence. He didn't back away. I tell you, John Starks will run at Michael Jordan. Three straight field goals. And New York is right back in this ball game, down to only six. 6-0 six run by New York. It's a 56-50 game. Four for six in this quarter, which makes them five for 23 on the ball game. So everything... He's just a young guy, but look at the confidence against one of the best defensive players in the game. Beautiful spin move by John Stark. John Starks got involved in a, a trash-talking duel with Michael Jordan on Thursday night. Stark said that he was wrong to get caught up in it with Michael Jordan because all it did was serve to fire up Jordan. In fact, Jordan says sometimes he'll, he'll do some talking just to rev himself, to get himself going. Well, Michael Jordan is a, is a gentleman that accepts, loves to accept challenges, and he tries to find new ways to motivate himself, to reach a new height. And if he finds a younger player, a guy with less experience, and he can talk a little bit to him and get the guy into that verbal confrontation, he gets a kick out of it. Because what it does is the challenge, once again, is there. Let me see if I can destroy this guy. It's no different from what I hear in the Bulls' practices. He does the same thing to his teammates to try and push them to a new level. 